Hello cookbook friends and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie and today I have to go through the Street Fighter cookbook. It's the official street food cookbook, of course. And so I didn't grow up loving Street Fighter. I, I didn't actually have the console for it, but my husband loves Street Fighter and probably still to this day, the reason why I haven't gone into Street Fighter too much is because he always kicks, kicks my butt, but I'm trying to learn. I really am. I have played other things like Tekken and Mortal Kombat and all that stuff. So um, I am really excited about this because even though I don't play the game as much as I'd love to, I really like the lore. I love the characters. They're memorable. Like nobody, everybody knows most of these characters. They can name them off even if they've never played Street Fighter. I love the culture. I like the mixing of things. I just think it's really fun. So let's dive into this because this is a really, really cool cookbook. It's interesting how they've di divided this up. This is not how traditionally cookbooks are divided. So the first chapter, we talk about basics. So that includes like Japanese milk bread, burger buns, sushi rice, that kind of thing. So skills that you might need for all the other recipes. We have the first chapter is actually North America, then we go into South America, then we go into Africa and the Middle East, next is Europe, and then of course Asia, which is just massive. So I don't think this is necessarily a problem. I think if you're picking this cookbook up, you know what your favorite characters are and where they reside. So if I want something from Chun-Li, I'm going to go to Asia. If I want something for Cami, I'm going to go to Europe, you know. So it's going to be, I like that they've done this. It might seem a little weird, but it's fitting for this whole thing. I also like that they've added certain aspects that, so like Ken, he's American, but has a lot of Japanese influences in the game lore. So I like that they've included that. So let's actually start with Ken and go to page 61, we start with spaghetti carbonara. So all the recipes are divided into countries, obviously, and or areas, continents. And um, they also just kind of, uh, there's a mix. So there's like beverages mixed in with mains, mixed in with salads, mixed in with all kinds of stuff. So it's a bit of a mixed bag, but it's still super fun to look at. So we have, and we have a photo for every single, every single recipe. That's a bonus. So the spaghetti carbonara, this is different than regular carbonara because it has, we have duck fat in here. We have sesame seeds. There's poached eggs. It's got a lot of Japanese influence in it. And I love that they're doing that. A lot of these recipes aren't junk food. So when I think of whenever I hosted really geeky parties, it would ha be filled with junk food. These are foods you that are range from kind of junky to super healthy. So I love that they've given you a variety. We have, we have Ken right here. We get to learn a little more about Ken. We also get some cool like concept art illustrations here. And then yeah, just really cool. We also have, if you see, this is actually kind of fun. Difficulty is right here. So this is an easy difficulty. Um, and then we have prep time, cook time, how much it yields, and then dietary notes, which is very important. I like that it's right there so you know exactly what you're getting into. If you have vegan friends coming over, you know like what to cook and what not to cook. Let's look at some more recipes. We have smash burgers. This is super awesome. I love that they've incorporated all of the different, you know, we've got game art, we've got recipes. So this is maple bacon donuts, super delicious. We're into South America, so we've got some churros. And that looks like a Nutella sauce to me, and I'm very jealous. This looks amazing. Very tasty. We also have crepes. This looks really good. This Chen Li. We also have Jian Dui. I, I think I'm saying that correctly, but 
This looks beautiful, and look how fun. It just is super fun. Directions are very clear, and the ingredient lists are just super clear, too. Variety of dishes. So we've got bao here. Dongo, which, oh, when I went to Japan, this was so awesome to, to try, and I, I wanted to recreate this for a while. So this is a difficulty of three of five. I like the difficulty rating. I think it's really cool. And then this is interesting. So um, for here specifically, we have for the dongo, there's an exclamation part. You'll see, or exclamation point. You'll see a bright red marking here, and it's right here also. So it says it may seem tempting to use different types of rice flours as substitution, but you can't do that. So I like that they're giving you, you know, a lot of us like me, I would probably need to substitute certain flours for others. And just being able to know that that's probably not going to go well for you is actually super helpful. So it gives you tips on how to make things better or tips on how, you know, just don't, just don't do the thing. So this is just a really, overall, I was surprised. It's a great cookbook full of different foods, different cuisine from all around the world. You know, I've never had this, this before, the Mizu Yokan. I've seen it many times, but being able to make it at home would be really cool and interesting. If you are somebody that loves Street Fighter fighting games, you want to do a party, especially since, you know, most of us are kind of hanging out with people again, you can cook from this, you can actually cook from this cookbook and it would be really fun. And I think a lot you could say, hey, this is spaghetti carbonara, but this is Ken style. I think people would appreciate it if they're Street Fighter fans. So definitely if you're a Street Fighter fan, check this cookbook out. It's super cool, really rad. Um, there's just all kinds of recipes. There's all kinds of character notes, drawings. It's just, it's very, uh, there's, and there's different foods from around the world. That's what makes Street Fighter so awesome. So check this out and uh, let us know how it goes if you make any of these foods. Thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. Make sure to subscribe and to like on your way out and to comment below. Uh, if you want more cookbook content, uh, check out our Facebook page, our Instagram, Pinterest. We also do a weekly roundup every Friday on our podcast at Cookbook Divas. We'd love for you to join us there. So happy cooking and have a fantastic rest of your week.